And we return to the Calamity Corner known as Auto Club Speedway for the Caterpillar 400. I'm your host, Dragonite Cole. I'm Soup McGee. Love me some soup. You're supposed to curl it. Ooh. And here we are to bring you some uh, extreme racing. We're probably going to have a one lap dash. And yeah. Expect a big one at some point. Multiple ones. The Caterpillar 400, by the way. We've already said this. Let's go over the starting lineup. Daniel Voiles in the Sitco Ford on the pole. He will be alongside Tommy Turbo in the Smoking Joe's Ford. Henry Sanford in the Skittles Pontiac will start alongside the Coors Light Chevrolet of Betty Johnson. The STP Pontiac of... Chris Dollarton will start alongside Jenny Gardner and the Miller Genuine Draft Ford. The, Mil the Mobile One Ford of Chelsea Bowles will be alongside the Interstate Batteries Pontiac of Josh Crash. Richmond winner, the Low Chevrolet of Jeff Bright. He will be alongside, and this is the correct version, so remind, just a reminder, there were some inconsistencies. He... He will start alongside the Cheerios Ford of Kev Shearer. The Monte Car the Western Auto Monte Carlo of Sean McKean will start alongside the Bud King of Beers of Jim Gambit. And if he's in that car, then you that must mean you must y'all know what Eli Bright's gonna be in. Okay. But besides the point. Uh, McDonald's Ford of Charles Sanford. He will be alongside the Valvoline Ford of Matthew Shoup. The Napa Chevrolet of Zach McVeigh and the Texaco Haviland Ford of Ken Bell. Quentin but, Moore and the unsponsored Chevrolet. He will be alongside Junior Ramos and the Kodak Max Chevrolet. Willie Boulderquake and the Mountain Dew Pitch Black Chevrolet and Leah Sutton, last week's winner in the Caterpillar Pontiac. Now the all-time winningest driver in the Wheaties Cup with five. If she pulls off six, man. Can we just hand her the championship at that point? Might as well. Uh, the GM Goodrich Oreo Chevrolet, Chevrolet of Jordan Bell starts alongside the Kodiak uh, Chevrolet of Jesse Turner. The Hot Wheels Pontiac of Paul Minnick, Jordan Anderson in the John Deere Ford, the Tide, the Ford. Tide Ford of L.J. Toledo. This guy is sneaking up in the top five in point. He'll be alongside Tyler Deaver, the winner of the Spring California Race in a one lap dash, upsetting Nate Bell, Bring, bringing it back in the Dupont. Rainbow Chevrolet. The Jasper Engines Ford of Lauren Carson and the light blue. The blue chrome. The blue chrome Bud King of Beers of Eli Bright. Matthew Delvin, the Prime Star, Prime Star Family. Camera Crows. Prime Star Family Channel Ford and runner up last week uh, at Richmond, the low Chevrolet of. Elijah Gordon. Elijah Gordon. Zachary Fitzwater in the Altel Ford. Remember, he won the very first California race. The very first one-lap dash here. He'll start alongside Ignis Kirksey in the Home Depot Pontiac. Then you have Nate Bell in the Office Depot Chevrolet. The Skull, Skull Bandit Chevrolet of... Chris Dodd. Chris Dodd. Then Steve Morgan in the Ford Quality Care Service Ford. XI Batteries Ford of uh, James Qualls. Kyle Matthews, Coors Light Pontiac, Cole Deaver in the GM Goodrich Chevrolet, the Dr. Pepper Chevrolet of Benna Williams, the Cartoon Network car of Jordan Strong, Cartoon Network Ford. Ford. Jonathan, the rounding out the field will be Jonathan King in the Pendolo Chevrolet, and John Gambit in personally one of my favorite five paint schemes, the Tony the Tiger car in which Terry Labonte did drive this at California. Finished second in the inaugural race car. To who? Jeff Gordon? Correct. Huh. Alright, Tyler. Let's be quiet for the command. Drivers, stop your engines! Uh, Daniel Boyle will be leading them down. Has did, not had the greatest... Didn't he, didn't he, shouldn't he have won this race in the spring? 
But then he got wrecked or something? Yeah, he actually had one of the best cars here in spring race, but got spun out and wrecked and just couldn't recover after that. So, wait, what's going on with the 25? Okay. All right, so Daniel Boyle can lead him to the green. Will this be his time to shine? It's California. Anyone can win. Yeah. All right, Tyler. Our, as we get ready for the green flag, say them three famous words. Get ready, get ready. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing in, the, in California, boys and girls. Summer skies. Oh my gosh, we're already in the skies. Water. Well, it's starting to get a little cloudy over the Yeah. yeah it, 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 that's a foreshadowing for what's going to happen. I don't and like where Betty Johnson's at. If you want to see what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring you up. Oh. Let's bring you aboard the Weenies helicopter cam. And we bring you... Oh, Nate Bell! Here we are in the hornet's nest, ladies and gentlemen, as Henry Stanford leads the first lap. But, yeah, going to Nate Bell. Yeah, here we are, the hornet's nest. Right alongside point leader, Leah Sutton, who won Kansas. Oh, my gosh, five wide. Look, look at Johnny Gardner straight in the middle here. Jim Ganda. Betty Johnson, oh, there and there they go, no, oh, Dollarton goes straight to the wall, but they saved it, for now, Chelsea that, Bowles leads, Chelsea Bowles leads, we go back to our normal TV cameras, let's take, I think we'll get Chris Dollarton, stuck on the outside, but I think, I think this would be the best thing for him, what do you think, Tyler? Staying in the back might be their best option. As you can see, the Deaver boys are putting that plan into action. I don't want to be in the hornet's nest. Go back to your leader. Pocono winner up out in front. The first Pocono winner. Oh, Fancy! Oh, oh, who was that? That was Charles Sanford. Oh, good night. Sanford side grinding it. James Qual is involved. I think the 24 got a piece of it. Yeah, his hood is scrunch. Uh, J Jim Gambit, or John Gambit got a piece of it. I like Kyle Matthews tied up. Uh, Kevin. Well, he's straight the wall. Warren Carson leads us to the line. So well, let's see if we get, we're probably going to get pit stops here. Oh, gee, that green fits water. Well, that, we're going to have... Are we about to have early pit stops? Yep. They're all on the apron, except for Willie Motorquick and Daniel Wood. They're, they're probably going to be banking on a second caution. Now, Tyler, what, what would be the uh, advantage of taking early pit stops? Fresh tires. Tra you know, the track's been sitting here a while. You know, in the sun and, you know, pavement's getting old. Hey. Well, fresh tires. I would come for four fresh ones. No, so we fought. Oh, Lauren Carson going for two tires. But once everyone gets settled, we'll bring you back to the replays to show you what exactly happened here. Whoa! I think Junior Ramos might have beaten them out. And indeed, Junior Ramos will beat out the, the crowd. So the order follows that Junior Ramos, Paul Minnick, Lauren Carson, Chelsea Bolt, Wes Moore, uh, Jim Gambit, Steve Morgan, Jordan Bell, Nate Bell. Oh. 48's got hood damage. 48 got some bad hood damage here. And you got Ignis Kirksey, Matthew Shute, Eli Bright, Betty Johnson, Matthew Delvin, Leah Sutton, Henry Stanford, Cole Deaver of all coming out on top here. And Toledo. Toledo. 
Elijah. Elijah Gordon, Jordan Strong. Uh, who has hood damage? Oh, he's got hood damage too. So he's, he's coming back pit road. He's got to get that hood rook off. Howard Deaver with his hood rook off. Sean McKean coming back. Kev Shearer also way back here. And so is Benna Williams. Johnny Gardner took a long time on pit road. Here comes Zach Jay and John Gambit. And James Qualls returning to the track. How are you still running? And no, how is this car still running? Yeah, that's my thing. How are you still running? Carl Stanford say, never say die. And you got Chris Dodd and Kyle Matthews barely beating out the pace car. So right now, the only car not the only car seems to be out of it right now is Zachary Fitzwater as I can find him on my chart. There he is. Well there's another car that was just on the road. I believe that was Jeff Wright. Yes, ripping off his own road. Jordan Strunk. Ripped off is there another car on the road? Jesse Turner. A lot of strategy coming into play here. So, Tyler, who do we go to? We go to Fitzy. Alright, so we'll be right back with the caution. Well, the replay. Okay, there's a lot of process going on here. So, Kyle Matthews is going to go up in the chute, which is going to get a lot of cars loose and just... Ugh, you can see Charles Sanford took a blow from a... Fitzwater causing him to side grind his way. Now he's practically riding the wall. And then we go back here as we're going to follow what happened to James Qualls right quick. As this will provide a better view. As you can see, Venna Williams is spinning out. That's just literally going to cause a chain reaction. Tyler Deaver literally had nowhere to go. He pile drives his own teammate and Dollarton getting by by the skin of his teeth. And what happened to Johnny Gardner exactly? Uh, he was just caught up. Where to go? Just shoved up against the wall. Kev Shearer got a piece of it. Just Jesse Turner just tapped Chris Dodd as you can see him on the grass here. And yeah, so hey Jesse, if you're count, if you're in here, uh, hang on. Well, all right, Jesse. So if you're watching the video, you know what to do. Just process and count down how many cars you see in this wreck, or with damage. Anyway. Let's go back to our live feeds. Jesse Turner coming off of pit road again. So, oh, we get talk about timing. Well, he bought her quite. Remember, five bonus points because he's led a lap under caution, though. Okay. So Daniel Boyle and Willie Boulderquake banking on the caution. Oh, uh, uh, it's something that we're definitely gonna get at this. Point. So right now, the only cars one lap down are 50 and Jesse Turner. Hey, new leader. New leader in the form of Daniel Boyle. Remember, he led, he was one of the better cars here in the spring race, so he got wrecked. But Paul Minnick coming up here. Yes, fresh retired. Paul Minnick looking to redeem himself after horrible Michigan in the Richmond race. Pardon my, pardon me. And he had a good finish at Kansas. Pretty good at He was battling for the lead. And then the like, like, lap car struck. Struck. And then we go back here. The, the pack is all spread out here. Probably because of the da car, the slow damage cars. Yeah, Zachary Fitzwater, who cannot keep up full speed with the pack. He like, he like 10 miles an hour slower. And you got Jesse Turner, who basically trying to nurse his car. He's just trying to nurse his, he's just to nurse his car back to hell. New leader. Nate Bell. Probably about to be Nate Bell. 
or Quentin Moore. And probably Steve Morgan. Get on the chart 30. Anybody want to throw that? Here comes Quentin Moore. Trying to look for his first ever win in here. Ironically, he was up here in the top three, but after a strange pit call, he just could not get a caution and get his lap back. But now here he is. Betty Johnson trying to battle back. Steve Morgan will lead the lap. But yeah, Quentin Moore had one of the best cars here in the spring race, but just could not get his lap back to contend for the win. Now here he is, and up here, oh jeez. They're gonna wreck it. Power, it's out of club. That's inevitable. Yeah. I mean, the, I mean, the good news is the pack is gonna spread out. That way, that it'll just be minimal damage. I think. So, ben, I think it's Ben Johnson, the first car to lead consecutive laps back to back. Looking for his second run as leader. Here, the two Budweiser cars, but it's easy to tell which one's which. Eli Bright in the blue and Jim Gambit in the red. Jim Gambit was not in this race. No, it was Zach Watt. So, no, he was. He was in the California race, and just after that was when he took his break. Here comes Jordan Bell back into big. Oh! Oh, jeez. Jordan Anderson looking for the Here lead. Here comes Leah Sutton. Leah Sutton what, having one of the best seasons here in the Wheaties Cup. Oh, Matthews. Yeah. It's going to be him and Jesse Turner. He, met, he probably came on the pit road while we weren't looking, so Kyle Matthews is now one lap down. In, in the same spot as his car, no but Right now, out of the top four in the point, the only one that's not having a good run is Tyler Deaver as we take a look right Well, let's see who leads this lap before we check out Tyler Deaver. Sutton. Delvin. Delvin will lead the lap, but Sutton is right there. We can look and see where Tyler Deaver is. 37, but if he can hold on, he might be able to get like 20 spot. In fact, he could catch that group ahead of him. He's running about the same speed as him. Then you got these cars falling off the page. Probably, maybe 50 got there. Yeah. Well, now this is going to be interesting because of these lap cars. Here comes Elijah Gordon going to lead that lap. And there is another car I was about to talk about, LJ Toledo. There comes Nate Bell. Uh, and the three car. Where did he come from? Stuck up on him. Oh, boys. Here. Oh, boy, they caught Matthews and Turner. Turner. And Cole's going to take advantage of this. And so five valuable bonus points about to come to the wet, come to Cole Deaver. He can hold off Daniel Boyle. So next week we go to the track where he won. We go back to Japan. We go back next week. We do have the taking I believe the Honda 500. Oops. Sorry about that. New leader. We got a battle for the lead, and they're about to come up upon Zachary Fitzwater again. So, Dan, will, we, will we have another run? Depends on how quick they can get around lap track. The only car right now that's being held up, oh, look who's in the car being held up. Yeah. LJ Toledo, we were just talking about him. Well, he got around him. Can he ca the question is, can he catch back up to the track? And they, they, they caught Fitzy. And now that's going to mess up the pack. And it's going to bring... But Cole Deaver, Daniel Boyles are still out in front. But... Come out and Eli Bright. Who, remember, in the... I believe it was this race. Yeah. He was up there, but like in, the last wreck. 
he it wasn't this the race he came in as the, he's the only other points leader this season. Besides Leah Sutton, yes. We, after Las Vegas, Eli Bright was your points leader, but then Leah Sutton just took the points lead back and never looked back. Yep. Here comes Chelsea Bowles. Oh, Ken Cole Deaver going a little intimidator on Ken Bell there. Like, boy, you gotta get up off my front here. But it's not gonna matter because Chelsea Bowles will have the lead. Meanwhile, Leah Sutton. She the crack the pack is starting to is starting to is spread out a lot, so this could be beneficial for these top runners. Take it, and look who caught back up to the pack. Oh, not him. That caught him. Who has snuck his way up into the top five and four. Well, let's take it. Let's, let's go on board. Okay, we'll say that he's had two back-to-back -back top five. Like Tommy Turbo going for the lead. Oh, look where nope. Leah Sutton's at. Oh no. Her sandwich, I don't like it. And Leah Sutton does not have the best luck being in a sandwich. Oh, right there now. they go! Oh! Melvin! Sutton! Oh! Bell. Jordan Bell! Look out! All these cars are running. Slowing down. Jim Gambit. Oh! John! John. We're about to 24. Except as soon as we were about to say stuff, then they wreck. Le as soon as I said, Leah Sutton's luck as the middle of a sandwich is not the best, this stuff happened. Hey, we got pit stops again. We this is what uh, Daniel Boyles and Willie Boulderquake wanted, remember, they did not pit the last time we were... And Daniel Boyles was still up in the front. Yeah, so Jonathan, came, no, I believe Tommy Turbo led them back to the line, but since they came back around, they're just going to come back around and come to pit, so Jonathan King leads them on to pit road. Let's see what happens here. And who's going to who's gonna lead them off, and who's going to be the biggest gainer? All right, let's take a look. Let's go. To, let's go to the pace car, man. Let's go. I'm gonna put on the rear chain or the rear. Oh, we have people. Well, not... they're the lap down cars, though. Yeah, good point. So they could stay on the tail end of the lead lap, I believe. Well, now we're gonna follow Ken Bell. And who's the first car on pit road? Johnson King. Mm-hmm. Oh, Dollarton. Yeah, Dollarton. He's gonna. He's got a crunchy hood. He's he he. Buys and Jonathan one. King wins the race off the of pit road. He's gonna finish second. Ooh, getting a little tight here on pit road. So, so your order as of right now will be Jonathan King, Jordan Anderson, L.J. Toledo, Junior Ramos, Matthew Schuster, Steve Morgan, Paul Miller, Betty Johnson, Daniel Woods, Chelsea Bowles. Cole Deaver, Ken Bell, Henry Sanford, Zach McVeigh, Ignis Kirksey, Josh Crash. We can get some damage. Let's take a look and see if we can get a better angle on or very end. How will it affect him? We won't find out until the drop of the green. You got Johnny Gardner, Kev Schicker, Tommy Turbo, and Burr. How's he still running? That is a very good question. Wasn't Chris Dodd part of that wreck? 
Or was he in the first, right? I can't remember. John Gambit, Ben Williams, Sean McKean, Quentin Moore, Willie Boulderwake, Elijah Gordon. Elijah Gordon, Nate Bell. Oh, here comes the lap down cars. So, we're about, we'll be right back with the, uh, We'll be right back with the replay, folks. Don't go anywhere. Okay, folks, we're about... This is just pack racing. This is just Cal This is just Auto Club. Wait till we get two weeks away. Zen Joltis is going to be a crazy one. Oh, just... Yeah, they just... They just come up on each other. Look at Matthew Delvin. Brutal ride here. Tough Great break. Dollarton. Points late last week's winner. J having... So she she doesn't do well at Richmond, wins Kansas, and then this happened. Excuse me. And let's follow along Eli Bright, who had one of the better running cars. Again, just bad luck coming into this. Like he was one of the best cars and then just pack racing happened. Oh, it looked like Jordan Anderson. Yeah, might have caught the eight. And then there's and nowhere going. for these cars to go. As you can see, Boulder Quake, Dollarton. Then Jordan Bell is going to unfortunately come up on the 89. Henry Sanford's about the thread the middle here. Now watch this. I got to point this out. We go on board Jim Gambit here. Smoking, smoking, smoking. He's done, anyway. He's done, but then catches the pit wall. So Jim Gambit is done. And we go on board live feed. We have the one to go. We have the one to go with Jonathan King. What, what are we seeing here, Tyler? I have no clue. But right now... Who's out? Believe it or not, only Jordan Bell, Dollarton, Jim Gambit, uh, Lauren Carson, Delvin, Eli Bright, and Leah Sutton, who's going to come home dead last. But this is big here, ladies and gentlemen. Even though with the 24's damage, still could get something out of this. The that's 3 is going to really benefit from this, because he's the only one that's not damaged. If he can stay out of damage, if we get the green flag, and you know who could secretly gain from this? The 10. LJ Toledo. This could be his moment. He's so Cole Deaver's up there too, so don't count the three out. But but if we also remember, Leah Sutton does have a great track record at Motegi next week. She was at 19th at one point, and she just consistently moved her way up. Oh, Cole Lieber led every lap. Yep. We focus on Cole Lieber right now. Jordan Anderson leads. He's going to follow behind Steve Morgan and Matthew Shute. So the blue ovals making four out of the five with the lone bow tie being cold eater, but Jonathan King is about the, the bow ties come and then the upside down still the upside down right now. Along with Josh Crash right there. Uh oh and Mindy. Yeah, you're you're forgetting the triangle. And look who's slowly making their way forward. It looks like Josh Crash can keep up with his good damage. What sorcery is this? We got Kev Shearer way back here. We look on back. Kyle Matthews up to 33rd. Uh, Jesse Turner 34th. And you got 20th back here. Quentin Moore still in 21st. Now if Nate Bell can keep himself out of trouble and maybe finish middle of the do you think this will help him? I don't know. And you got three of the Hendrick cars literally going crazy right here. I think Kendrick, like, wasn't Jim Gannett the only one running up there in the top before he got taken out? Then Ben Williams in 31st, the 32nd Sean Keen, then back in 5th 
order. It's just the lone car. And new leader. And the junior Rombo's coming along. Of course, it's going to be Cole Deaver. We're about to find out. Uh, looks like it'll be Robert. They're your Chicago Land winner. Who I believe has the biggest margin of victory. Yes. He had the biggest margin of victory ever with like over three seconds to. Who was it? Steve Morgan? Mm -hmm. Was it Steve Morgan or Tyler Deaver? It was Steve Morgan. Oh boy. And here comes Henry Sanford. Looking to join Brother Charles in the three wins per season club. But you got Matthew shooting Daniel Boyle and LJ Toledo. LJ, we, have four, LJ, we have four wide with a bunch of four wins. LJ Toledo has, is becoming so consistent, yet he just can't seem to get the win. He's second at Vegas, second at... Oh no. Minnick, hold on to your, hold on to your hat, Tyler. I've got a hat. Oh, fine boy. Anyway, uh, what were you saying, Tyler? Remember, Toledo has a uh, second at Vegas. Oh! oh, Jordan Anderson! Goes around! Oh, Toledo! Just talking about Toledo. Let's make sure no one else gets involved! Oh, no! Oh! Oh, oh Gambit! Look out! Quentin Moore upside down. Oh! Oh, my gosh. Look out! Well, um... This race just got oh, McKean, Venna, Nate Bell, Nate Bell Minnick. We were just talking about L.J. Toledo as Matthew Shute is going to lead him to li line. Oh, we're gonna have pit stops. Let's find out. Would you want to pit right now? I mean, more fresh Goodyear's at this track really. I I wouldn't think that. Pat, why don't you come take? I'm gonna go get me a bottle. Alright. Yeah, it looks like most of the cars are gonna stay out here. Uh, I think they're done with their strategy calls. See if any of the back. Oh! Something happened to the 24! It's on pit road! Severe damage! Charles Sanford. Oh! We have another wreck? Daniel Voiles? Do we have another wreck somewhere? We must have had another wreck. Somewhere we must have had another wreck. Okay, so I cannot find my bottle of water. What, what happened, Tyler? We might have had another wreck somewhere. I'm trying to figure out where. Alright, well, uh... Daniel Voiles is out. Well, um... Matthew shoot. Well, before we... Alright. So, here's how I'll show you the proper way to transition this replay. But we'll bring you to the replay, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so not only did we... We're, we're at the sorts of the caution. Tyler helped me find my water, which was right behind me all this time, ladies and gentlemen. As we go into our slow-mo camp... You see, Bulls and King are bouncing off of each other. That's going to send Jordan Anderson up the track. And then, what causes this next incident? I believe the 1 gets into the 88, and the 88 gets into the 44. And that's just going to send them up, Daniel Bull. And we're going to just watch, ladies and gentlemen, how vicious this is about to get. Uh, because no one's avoid. because everyone's just here... Everyone's just trying. Oh, oh, geez. Just Quint, Quentin Moore just goes up it. Well, he he doesn't go up and over. Nate Bell's gonna go for a spin. There's Jordan Anderson getting involved. Jordan Strunk. Now let's go. For, keep wait. Going. Hold on. What's gonna take out Venna Williams? Oh, now go forward. Hold on. Oh, wait. No, that might have been the second wreck. No, because the 24 had major damage, and he was not involved in that first one. Whoa, okay, we found it. Uh, oh, Kyle Matthews. Hit the pit wall. And Jordan Anderson had, had gone around. Did he hit the pit wall? Yeah, he did. Get 
back to the live feeds here. I, I believe they are at the one to go. Okay, can I get off the helicopter again? Yes, they are at the one to go. So, so let's look at the casualty list. Elijah Gordon. What happened to him? He was involved in one of those wrecks. Alright, hang on. He was involved in the first wreck. The, the first wreck. Alright, just, I'm sorry, I know I showed you the proper way to do transitions, but this is bothering me, because he was up there. I just want to know what wreck he was in. Oh. Oh, he was part of Quentin's wreck. Yeah. Alright, so, now that I know what happened, so right, Jesse Turner and Zachary Fitzwater are about to gain spot, so right now, your casualty list includes Elijah Gordon, uh, Jordan Anderson, Paul Minnick, Tyler Deaver, Charles Sanford finally took it behind the wall, then uh, Sean McKean, Lena Williams, Jordan Strong, John Gambit, and uh, Kyle Matthews, Quentin Moore, Danny Woods, and the one car. And the John McKean. So, and the ten cars back in 20 at this isn't a calling card for the three is for the three. I don't know what is. Green flag. Well, this also helps really more than Wade too. And wait, is he still surviving? Green flag is out. We try and look for Willie Boulder Quake right quick. There he is. Yes, Willie Boulder Quake. This is his calling card too. He was running second in this race, but then got pat him and Dollarton got passed. Yeah. On the restart. By Nate Bell, and then Tyler Deaver to basically go ball to the wall in turn two. So right now, Matthew Shute is about to take takes the lead, and Blue Oval Cent Central is right there. First four cars are now Ford. We have a Chevrolet, Pontiac, and another Chevrolet. Speaking of, and one of them is indeed Cole Deaver. He got Junior Ramos, Willie Boulderquay, the two Gibbs cars. Of, I'm still trying to figure out how is he running with that hood damage. I mean, it's like Gordon running very well. Yeah. Yeah, good point. Then you got Kev Shearer, Ethan Kirksey. So many cars still have damage and yet they're running. Look at Quill! Even though they're damaged, they're still gonna truck, keep on trucking. I think Ken Bell might have gotten held up or something, because he's relatively clean, but he's trying to find his way back up. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, here comes... Do you think we'll have any cars by the end of this race? Hopefully this will be the... Hopefully this will be the group that hopefully we won't have anymore. Right. Ten to go or no, eleven laps to go. So this race is winding down pretty fast. Yeah. With all the cautions we've had. And all the fact that we were able to have long green flag runs here before the wreck. But meanwhile, Tommy Turbo looking for win number two one. His first ever race at ORP, I believe. ORP. Stole, and look, from, stole it from Nate Bell. And look who's right here. Willie Boulder Clay. Trying to be trying to tie Ben uh, Leah Sutton. For what? For five wins. Trying to tie for five wins. And this will be only his No, this will be his third of the season. I mean he'll join the three not only that, he'll join the three win club. Yeah, Charles Nichols. And also, look who's fought Manson Claw's way back up. Josh Crash is still holding on. But has the damage taken its toll? And Tommy Turbo has had quite the biggest lead we've seen all day so far. Let's yep. take a look and see where the next, the first lap down call is. That would be Zachary Fitzmore going into turn four. Where is this? Clock in 20 second spot. He'll take it. Fitzy will definitely take it. 
Here comes Ken Bell on the inside of Cole Deaver. Oh! oh! Corner plate. Keep it off the six, man. I know that was your former right now, but come on. All right, and now Benny Johnson, the winner of the second Pocono race. Ken Bell is, I believe, if the top five... Well, Steve Morgan, he's the first person, but Tommy Turbo, Betty Johnson, Henry Sanford, uh... Boulder Clay. And Boulder Clay, they've all won. And Cole Deaver. And Cole Deaver. And Josh and, Crash way in the back. And Chelsea Bull. Basically, Matthew Shue, uh, and Steve Morgan and Ken Bell are the ones looking for the first win. Ken Bell looking for his first ever win. Exactly. But all three of them are. But Ken Bell is like one of the few seasoned veterans besides Eli Bright and Jordan Bell, who has yet to win a race in the week in their leading cup career. Here comes Steve Morgan and Benny Johnson. Robert Gates do up. Coming to six. I am still surprised at that 18. I don't think the 18, he just hasn't been able to pass. He's just sitting there, he's just in the spot, but he's not been able to do anything with this spot. He's not been able to move forward. But he's still holding on to the draft here. So that's the good news. So if he's been able, if something were to happen, he could be in a great spot. Here comes Cole Deaver and Chelsea Bowles, winner of the Coca-Cola 600. Who's going to lead this lap? I believe Chelsea Bowles might. Oh! No, Cole Deaver did it. I, I believe 50's up ahead. Yeah, this is not Oh, wait. Is that 50? It is indeed Zachary Fitzwater. Then the other lap. Well, Zachary Fitzwater is going to be the only lap car that these, that these, this pack gonna have to deal with. Here we go. Where is he gonna go? It's gonna be the outside, I think. That's good. It's very outside lane. Josh Crash is up here. That's gonna hold up Cole Deaver. Cole didn't know where to go. Cole's like trying to guess where he was trying to go. Now what? That's gonna hurt Ramos. That hurt Ramos, but if Cole's and uh, Josh Crash, like you said, though, is up in the pack. If Josh Crash wins that, I will eat a hat. Right now. But right now, it's Matthew Shoot out the front. Hey, Henry Sanford, where'd he come from? He's looking to join the Three Wins Club. Where'd he win? He won at Michigan? Dar in Darlington. Trying to go for three. But Ken Bell is bringing it back. Oh, Cole Deaver. Don't forget about that 88. Steve Morgan. Tommy Turbo. Well, and, 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 here's the and, if, and if Chelsea Bolt gets back to the bottom, good night. Henry Sanford. Remember, we're only going to have to come to two, come to, two to go. We're going to have our first ever green left run to the checker. Don't, don't jinx it. Yeah, I, I probably said anything there. Henry Sanford! Steve Morgan! Like I said, look at the 88! Here comes the three! Betty Johnson's also there. If I'm the three, don't make your move until next the next lap. But he knows he's got to go! Who's going to lead the lap? White flag! I think Cole led the lap, but can he lead coming back? No, nope. because here comes Ken Bell. What about Junior Ramos? Chelsea Bowles is there. If I'm Junior Ramos, duck to the bottom. That's where you got to go. Ken Bell. Oh, he's got it. Ramos has got the bottom. Come to the checkered flag. It's going to be a photo finish! No! Junior Ramos! By a clear mile! Wins the, ca wins the Caterpillar 400. The Junior Ramos 
gained his second win in a nail biter. Win. Official lineup or the official standing. Junior Ramos wins over Ken Bell, Chelsea Bowles third, Benny Johnson fourth, and Tommy Turbo rounds out your top five. Cole Deaver still gets a sixth place finish. Willie Boulder Quake seventh, eighth, Matthew Shute ninth, uh, Steve Morgan. Steve Morgan, and rounding out the top ten, Henry Stanford. And you gotta give it up to Josh Crash for hanging in there. It's just like you said, with that hood damage, he could hang up with him. He just couldn't go anywhere. Yeah. Uh, Johnny uh, Kev Shear, 12th. Johnny Gardner, 13th. Demus Kirk, Demus Kirk, C, 14th. 15th, Zach McVeigh. Matching his car number. And he got 16th. Chris Dodd, 17th, LJ Delito, 18th, James Qualls, 19th, Nate Bell, 20th, Jeff Bright, 21st, Jesse Turner, 22nd, Zachary Fitzwater. And then we start your entire list of... Casualty. 20, yep. Elijah Gordon, 23rd, 24th, Jordan Anderson, 25th, Paul Mack, 26th, Tyler Deaver, 27th, Charles Sanford, Sean McKean, 28th, 29th, Venna Williams, 30th, Jordan Strunk, 31st, John Gambit, 32nd, Jonathan King, Daniel Voiles, 33rd, 34th, Quentin Moore, 35th, Kyle Matthews, 36th, Jordan Bell, 37th, Chris Dollarton, 38th, Jim Gambit, 39th, Lauren Carson, 40th, Matthew Delvin, 41st, Eli Bright, and 42nd, rounding out the field, points leader, Leah Sutton. This is definitely going to shake up the points, the point standings going into these last few races. Tyler, how many more races do we have? We got eight. Motegi. We have eight left. Eight more races left, and if Leah Sutton... Lisa has got to get her groove back on. Otherwise, she could she could choke at the last second. But we won't know to next week. And boy, let me tell you, that three car, woohoo! He's probably gonna enjoy next week. Motegi. We'll see y'all next week in the land of the rising sun. Until next time, I'm your host, Dragonite Cole. I'm Soup McGee, and we will see y'all at in. Twin Ring Motegi.